You want to play with some Play-Doh? Okay. Oh, you want your papa? I'm going to make it long. Mommy's got some painting to do. There you go. Bless you. So I'm back to working on the kitchen today and it's time to take care of that backsplash. So the original tile was just a plain white square tile, um, which was fine, but it really wasn't us. And also it clashed pretty terribly once I painted the cabinets. So I'm actually gonna paint the tile as well today. I started with two coats of shellac based primer and finished by painting them with the same paint as the cabinets. Now that it's dry, it's time to start stenciling. I found this great four inch stencil on Etsy and you basically just make the pattern over four tiles. Um, and it's gonna look really pretty over a wide area. So once I get all this done, it will be time to add the clear coat, um, which will make the tile far more durable and also washable, which is important for a backsplash. Well, it's been about a year and a half since I first decided to tackle this backsplash project, and I have to say it's held up pretty well. I managed to take on a couple of other DIY projects in the meantime. The first was this butcher block countertop. The original was a black tile that felt super heavy in the space. So my husband took to tearing it off, and my father-in-law was gracious enough to come help us cut and install it. The second was a pretty quick and simple project that I was able to complete on my own, and that was to convert these flat panel pantry doors into a nice white shaker style door. I'm sure I'll find several more projects to tackle down the road, but for now I'm pretty happy with our progress. I'm Shelly with Nest and Dwell. Thanks for reading and watching, and I hope you'll come back for more.